G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Don't know if you recognise this area, but well, just on the other side of this rock is where I've done uh, that quite big hole at the start of all my videos. Plans are to remove all this overburden that's filled back in, winch these couple of rocks out and then see what we've got down the bottom, see what kind of gold we left. Um, and then probably even work it back this way a bit more, sort of into this area here. And because that we never touched that, so could be some really good gold sitting in here, but we won't get too excited just yet. So I'll get into it and we'll start digging. All right, as you can see, I've cleared a little bit of the overburden, just sort of thrown it all up into here. Um, took one test sample from just here at the very top, only got one piece, and then took another sample in under here, got three or four. And then just here where my shovel is, it's a different sort of clay layer and I've got about seven or eight um, pieces in that, so nothing too chunky, um, but oh, I don't know if you can see, got the high banker set up down there on the creek now, I'm just going to start filling up some tubs and then run some material, probably do one and a half tubs and then take a test pan, just to make sure there's still some reasonable gold there, but yeah, we'll see how we go, we'll get this other bucket filled and get down there and start sluicing. Guys, just done that first clean out of about 50 or 60 litres of material, and yeah, definitely not as good as I was hoping. So, we'll um, move on. I think we might test a little bit more. All right, guys, so I've just done a test pan from up in beside this, um, and I'm going to do the next test pan from just in here. But this is what I got for that test pan just then, so not too bad. And you probably can't see all the little specks in there, but there's probably 10 or 12 pieces including specs so we'll stuff that up it's been about an hour or so since i've done the last video but just test panning around and this is sort of what i'm getting sort of every pan it's only very fine gold put my finger in there it's, as you can see it's very very fine um so i think i'll keep testing around this, that's not really going to weigh up too much if that's all it's getting um we sort of need 40 or 50 pieces like that for it to weigh up to anything, but I've still just been testing. I've gone up in behind all this um, sort of log jam from the floods. Yeah, in here, just that, this, I've just done that second pan from over in the same sort of area as that last one, but all right. So it's once again, it's probably half an hour, 40 minutes after the last video. I did start, oh, this is the first rock, but back behind that there's another big rock which I was working behind I've slowly worked my way up the creek doing test pans sort of here there and everywhere anywhere like this where there's a tree sort of built up and big rocks caught in it this little bit of a shelf for the gold to catch behind up the top up over in here there's some flood wash up there so I'm basically looking for flood gold today um, I can find a place where there's some decent flood gold on top you never know what's been deposited in previous floods so Working my way up, just tested in just here. You can see me crowbar sitting up and got there yeah, some reasonable gold. So I'll show you. Still mainly all fine stuff, but it's oh, tripled, if not more, than the previous pans. Still all super fine, but there's that's one pan. So I'll probably get back into that and just keep going on that for another hour and then make my way home, I think. Okay guys, this is where I just had that last good pan from, just here, I've just loosened up a bit more material and brought the sluice right up, this will be the first time in a while I've been able to pan, uh, run straight into the sluice. Looking at that, looks like I'm a bit much of an angle, I'll run a bit through it and have a look. Um, it did start all the way back down here where you can see that black tub, so I've worked all the way up this edge of the bank, because that side is just all bedrock. So you know that it floods or flows very hard through that side and this side is just all big rocks so i'm guessing the pay streak is somewhere along this line and yeah just going to try and find it sorry i'm puffing guys it's been yeah cleaning some stuff up and moving some gear we'll um set the sluice up and get into it
the guys just finished that last run um probably only 15 to 20 liters all up i'll um take us up and show you the hole in the minute it's not very big bit bigger than a bucket and this is the importance of test panning from before only getting about 20 pieces for 50 60 liters we've here got a couple of hundred pieces for yeah not much work at all i think i'll um Definitely be coming back and hitting that. Might come out and do it tomorrow. All right, guys, here's the final take for the day. Not too bad, considering I started off very poorly. Good morning, guys. As you can see, the sun's just starting to come up over the hill. It's um, probably about 7.30 in the morning. A bit cold, but I've got the high banker set back up, the little six inch. And going to continue on where I finished off yesterday. I ran, yeah, probably 15 litres for 250 pieces or so from right there. So just going to keep it going. I'm going to try and run for two or three hours today. Yesterday I only, yeah, ran for a little bit because I was test panning all up and down the creek, as you would have seen earlier in the video. But enough of that. Let's get right to it. Give you a quick look at how oh, the new spray bar set up and how it's all working. Works a lot better than the way I previously had. Makes a big area for it all just to sit and wash. A little bit comes through, but that's all right. Look at that, not working too bad at all, is it? Throw that back up in for another quick wash off up and you're ready to go again that's all dancing nicely a few bubbles in there we might have to put a little flat mat in there to stop the bubbles or something but all right so i've not long just done a quick little clean up out of the sluice it wasn't as good as the last run i think the pay layer was the sort of layer at the top still maybe two to three hundred pieces for well, probably 30 liters that time um, I've just taken a test sample up over the back and the gold seems a bit chunkier, less spec count but a bit chunkier so I'm going to just start taking some shovels from there, put it through the sluice and then Guys, I've just um, finished running probably for the day. Hole's gotten quite a bit bigger as you've seen. I've been digging a fair bit all up in through here and then down deeper through here. The gold started getting a little bit less as I got deeper here, but I got chunkier gold up there. But it seemed like it was, I don't know, it was kind of sporadic. It wasn't really in a, a pocket or anything. So, but having a look at the matting and I don't know if you can see it, there's a nice picker up in there it's only a little picker but looks like a chunky one there's some other gold caught in here as well but what we really want to see is have a look at this on, let me get comfy so i can see got gold look at the black matting hallelujah finally i might have a good bloody clean up Let's um, get this out and we'll get it cleaned up and have a look. This is just some of what I've got today. There was that other clean up earlier as well. So we'll have a look at that. And we'll get the rest of the gold in there. Push the button to turn the camera off. Just 
what we've just got for that run. Uh, that was a big run. There was probably nearly a hundred liters or so. Some chunky stuff in there. Finally, um, I'll just set the camera here for a moment while I get the other snuff a bottle out. Session anyway. Gold clean. Alright, so here's what I got yesterday and a little bit from today, the first run, followed by all this. Yeah, we'll just get it all into the one corner. Sorry about the dodgy filming. Not a bad little take. Out of that small little hole, maybe 100, 150 litres. All right, guys, just one more thing. Um, as you're going through the video, you'll notice that I have oh, a plan in at the start. I was obviously trying to dig behind that big rock that me and my brother started. Not very good gold, so I moved on. And that's what you've got to do. If you have a plan, you come out with it, that's all good and well to be prepared. But try and have a backup plan, at least in your head, just think, oh, well, if this is no good, I'm going to go find a crevice. Or I might go try and find some flood gold. You never know what you're going to come across. Um, today has been quite a good day to be honest um, quite a bit of gold came out of that little hole but yeah you just got to be able to think on your feet get ready um, adjust to the environment sort of adapt to what you need to do um, but yeah that's it so and it really shows the importance of test panning I could have easily just kept working that first hole that I started to dig and pull two or three pieces per pan and I would have ended up with maybe a hundred pieces for the, for the time spent out here instead I've ended up with probably a gram and a half which is a lot better than I would have hoped for at the start of the day so that's just one more thing to keep in mind um, you're not always going to have a good day but don't get frustrated I've had four or five weeks of poor gold really poor gold I've just kept at it started thinking outside the box a bit and looking for a flood gold deposit um, and as you've seen just testing different areas and that's what you got to do just basically just jump all around the creek find that spot, find that line of gold, deposit, whatever it is, and really go for it. So that's just one thing to think about while you're watching my video. As you'll see how much my plan changes and, yeah, just thinking on the run, basically. All right, guys, back inside. Gold is dry. And here it is in one of my little kids' food containers. Not too bad at all. Pretty happy with that. I'll put a nice photo up at the end. But let's get it all done. So there's that. There's the exact same container. Tear this one off. Right, let's see. One oh six. Pretty happy with that to be honest. Haven't had a gram day in a oh, good while. I think I might have to crack a can. I think I deserve it. There's a fair bit of digging. But yeah, if you like what you've seen, guys, give it a like and subscribe and leave us a comment. Cheers.